The Richard H. Driehaus Prize uh, is given annually by the uh, School of Architecture at the University of Notre Dame. And it's given to honor a lifetime commitment and contribution to traditional, classical, and sustainable architecture and urbanism. The mission of the prize has been twofold. On one hand, it has sought to provide a forum for the discussion on the principles of the traditional city and its architecture, and on the other, to reposition in the minds of the public the role that classicism and tradition can play in our future. The prize is awarded annually to a living architect whose work creates a positive cultural, environmental, and artistic impact in accordance with the highest standards and ideals of classical architecture and traditional urbanism. In recognition of the, of the relationship of the School of Architecture uh, to, to the prize, uh, our students, faculty, and staff are the first to hear who the jury selected uh, for the 2015 laureate. I am pleased to announce this year's recipient, an architect who has succeeded in establishing a renewed and spirited dialogue about the contemporary, contemporary condition of architecture and urbanism. He has engaged and woven traditional principles with modernity to design building types and urban conditions that are characteristic of our time. His firm's designs for large buildings usually thought of as the domain of engineers such as sports arenas and stadiums, illustrate how classical, traditional, and modern languages of architecture can be used to reimagine the scale of these very large structures and successfully connect them to their communities. Furthermore, his sensitivity and concern for the American city and its architecture has resulted in the rejuvenation of many urban centers with a renewed sense of place and purpose. So, I'm very pleased to announce that the 2015 Richard H. Driehaus Prize at the University of Notre Dame will go to David M. Schwartz of Washington, D.C. <laughs> David Schwartz will be awarded the $200,000 prize and a bronze miniature of the Corregic Monument of the Secretes on March 25th in Chicago. Our faculty, fifth year and graduate students are invited to join the laureates, jury, and the international architectural community on Friday, March 20th at the University Club of Chicago for the grand reception, which will be followed with the conferring of the prize at the colloquium the next day. I'm also pleased to announce the winner of the 2015 Henry Hope Reed Award that recognizes achievement in the promotion and preservation of traditional, classical, and sustainable architecture and urbanism amongst people who work outside the field of architecture. Dr. Richard Jackson, a renewed environmental health expert, will receive the $50,000 prize during the same March 21st ceremony in Chicago. Dr. Richard Jackson's work has made the world aware of the influence of the built environment on health. His research has demonstrated how cities with mixed use, pedestrian friendly urbanism provide an environment that promotes health and well being that is superior to that of our sprawling suburbs. In the midst of a national debate on health care, he has realigned the focus to include a holistic approach to fitness that examines the causes of poor health rather than just the cure. His commitment to humanism has allowed him to participate and contribute to an integrated and interdisciplinary discussion about the future of our cities. Before I conclude, on behalf of the School of Architecture, I would like to express our many thanks to Richard Driehaus. This prize has flourished under, under, his, under his committed support, and we are grateful for the open discussions and contributions the school has been able to foster because of it. We are very proud of the achievements of this year's laureates as they represent aspirational models for our students. As the world enters into greater uncertainty about resolving the critical issues of its time, the recipients of, two, of these two prizes embody the values and principles about making cities meaningful, 
beautiful, and with a sense of purpose that can guide our future.